based upon what we heard yesterday, uh, the GA does not consider uh, a high temperature gas reactor or a small module light water reactor as an advanced reactor. Those are reactors that can be built. And uh, uh, we are advocates for fast reactors. Um, we believe that there are a number of interesting designs out there that um, should be supported by the government. Uh, and uh, in particular, the one that we have been pursuing is a compact, fast gas reactor. And uh, we set out to solve a number of problems, some of which were alluded to yesterday. Uh, so uh, the problems that I saw yesterday, although there was one that wasn't discussed, uh, is safety, uh, discussed yesterday. Economics is another. Uh, what to do about the waste and uh, proliferation. We believe that uh, nuclear energy faces all these issues all at the same time. And therefore, if we're going to pursue something, we should pursue something that addresses those issues. Uh, so in the case of safety, which is intimately tied with economics, uh, there's the public health issue, but there's also the issue of a risk to the investment. And therefore, safety is of ultimate importance to pursuing any reactor. And as some people know, high temperature gas reactors are, um, at least the thermal ones, are uh, inherently safe. Uh, the one that we've been pursuing uh, can be made walk away safe, which means if you lose power and you lose coolant, uh, you can uh, have a reactor that will remain safe in the sense of no meltdown. And we've done the calculations to verify this. In terms of economics, our strategy has been and continues to be trying to drive the cost down of not just the reactor in terms of capital investment, but also the power costs. And uh, we believe that if we're on a trajectory to do that, when natural gas uh, increases in value, we will intercept it sooner than we can now. Uh, so uh, the reactor that we've been designing is a compact fast reactor, as I said. If I, I want to give you a measure of its size, it's a 240 megawatt electric uh, reactor. Uh, it's equivalent in power output to two M powers. However, its size is equal to one. So that tells you that the amount of material that goes into this reactor is far less than other reactors. It has a high power density. Uh, also, it operates at high temperature to try to dr drive efficiency, which is very important. This is accomplished with what we believe is a revolutionary, revolutionary high-speed uh, turbine generator that we are in the process of actually uh, designing and testing. Uh, in terms of waste, similar to what Eric said, this reactor burns waste. It can burn spent fuel or depleted uranium. Uh, based upon our calculations and also Argonne National Laboratory, uh, this reactor can burn for 30 years without refueling or fuel reshuffling. And it has to do with the nature of the design of the reactor. Uh, there's some very important research issues associated with that, which we're currently pursuing, mainly having to do with materials and also uh, the nature of the fuel in the reactor. Uh, in terms of uh, 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 proliferation, uh, this reactor is such that after 30 years, uh, you can reuse the discharge without conventional reprocessing, no re aqueous reprocessing. So the byproduct of this reactor, the waste stream for this reactor is fission products, and that's it. They have no proliferation value whatsoever. Uh, the discharge can be reused, and therefore, you only have to use low enriched uranium for the first generation. After that, there is no LEU required in this type of reactor. You just take the discharge, put it in, and put in the balance of spent fuel into the reactor. Uh, uh, so I think I've addressed what I think are the major issues facing nuclear energy, and we believe that in order to move forward, that's the direction we should take. By the way, this reactor has no funding from the U.S. Department of Energy or the government. It's all funded privately. And thank you very much. Uh